Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the most frequently asked SQL questions. For this, I have written all the questions down here and let's quickly start with our first question. So we have to find out the employees having the second highest salary. For this, I have this employee table over here in which I have employee ID, name, salary, department ID and manager ID. For this question, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use a function known as a rank function over here. So let me quickly write out, uh, write down the query and I will explain to you later, right? So guys, when I run this query, you can clearly see it has ranked all the employees having the highest salary to the employees having the lowest salary. So guys, rank function is basically used to rank the rows with the given condition. And my given condition over here is order by salary descending. So the employees having the highest salary will be ranked one after that second, third, fourth, in this fashion, the rank is going to be taken place. And if I have to find out the second highest employee, what I can do is I will just write a query about this. Give this table a name, let's say as yo, where R and K equal to two. So when I run this part, you can clearly see the employee having the second highest salary. I got all the details of that employee, employee ID, employee name, salary, department ID, all of these things, right? So guys, in this fashion, you can find out second highest, third highest, nth highest, any kind of thing. Now let's quickly jump to our second question. Employees who are not present in the department table. So let me quickly show you the department table. First of all, how my department table look alike. So you can see I have department ID and department name over here. So I have to find out the employees who are not present in the department table. So what I can do for this is either I can use the inner join. Okay. No, I cannot in use the inner join over here. I can use the left join over here, right? So let me quickly write a left join and let me explain you how I am going to do this because I want all the details from the employee table, right? And some of the details from the department table. So that's why I'm using a left join over here. Okay, I have written the name wrong. I think this is the name, right? So guys, now can you clearly see for, for the position where this join is happening, I can get all the details from the department table, but the place where I can, when, where I have the, in the employee table as department ID 300, my department table don't have any detail about the department ID 300. So that's why I just want the employees who are not present in the department table. So I just want the detail of this employee Saurabh over here for this. What I can do is I can simply give a where clause over here where my D dot, let's say department ID, right? Is null. So when I give this condition, I can find out all the details of this employee Saurabh over here, right? So that's how my second question is also done. Now let's quickly move to the third part where I am using a concept of self join. And I have to find out the employees whose salaries are actually greater than, than their managers, right? So let me quickly show you the data. So I have this employee name Umang over here with employee ID one, whose manager is, whose manager is having the manager ID two. That is whose manager is actually Sneha over here. Sneha's manager is basically Harshit. Bharat's manager is basically Ankit over here. So I have to find out the employees having the salary greater than that of their manager, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a concept of self join over here in which I'm going to join this same table with the another same table. Okay. So let me quickly write the query and let me just show you, right? Okay. So this is going to be my first table is going to be my employee table. And now my second table is going to be actually by manager table. Why? Because I am going to join. Let me just show you what I'm going to do. 
let me just name it employee only right on employee dot manager id equal to manager dot emp id so what i'm doing guys is i'm just joining this data this id manager id over here from the employee id of the second table and the second table is the exact copy of this table so what is going what it's going to give me is basically if i select all the details from employee okay and so this is going to be my second table is basically going to be my manager's table where I will get the details for all of my manager's name, manager's salary, each and every kind of detail, right? So from manager table, what I want, I want the name. This has manager name, manager name. And let's say manager dot EMP salary, EMP salary as manager salary. So if I have to talk about the manager salary over here, right? Let's see for among the manager Sneha, whose salary is 15,000, right? For Sneha, the manager is Bharat, whose salary is 20,000. Let me quickly run this query and I will show you what happens over here, right? Among managers Sneha having salary of 15,000, Sneha manages Bharat, whose salary is basically 20,000. Let's see quickly over. Among's manager, right? Sneha's manager, right? Great. Chalo. So I just want to find out the employees where employee salary is greater than manager salary. Now I will give a condition in the join itself where my employee salary is actually greater than my manager dot employee salary. Basically my manager salary over here, right? So if I want to find out the details from the first, I just want to grab the details from my first table. So when I run this part, you can clearly see there's only Bharat and Harshit over here whose salaries are actually greater than that of their managers. And if I just don't, oh, okay. Let me just show you their manager's name and their details as well. Right? So if I just show you the details of their managers, their salaries, Bharat manages Ankit whose salary is 10,000, whereas Bharat salary is 20K over here. Similarly, Harshit's salary is 30K and her manager basically Sneha is having the salary of 15K only, right? So guys, in this fashion, we have solved our third question as well using the concept of self-join over here. Self-join basically means joining the same table against the same table only, right? Now let's move to the fourth part. What's, what's the difference between truncate and delete? So guys, truncate don't allow you to, truncate is basically delete, just deleting all of the table, all the data of the table. Delete whereas allows you to give a where clause or to give a condition while deleting. So if I want to delete any kind of duplicate data, I can give a condition accordingly. But when I'm using truncate, I will have to delete all of my data present in the table. So that is the difference between truncate and delete. Okay. Let's move to the first questions. Number of record generated by joining two tables with different joins like inner join, left join, right join. So guys, I have already made a video around the same where I have, where I have, I have a detailed video on this where I have explained how many number of records you are going to be uh, going to get in inner join, left join, right join, all these kind of stuff. Okay. So I will just attach the link in the description so that you can just go and watch it out. Right. How to find out the duplicates and how to delete them. Okay. Chalo, let's solve this. How to find out the duplicate. For this, you can clearly see I have duplicates in my employee ID, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select employee ID. I'm just going to find out the count against each employee ID. I'm naming this as CNT and I'm just going to group the data by employee ID. So guys, when I run this part, let's see what happens. So I got the count for each and every employee ID through which I can see, uh, which employee IDs are basically duplicating or basically repeating, right? But I cannot find out for this. I am going to use a clause known as having clause and I'm going to give him give a condition. Basically having my count of this star is actually greater than one. So when I run this, I'm just able to find out the exact employee ID, which is going, which is basically repeating, right? So I'm not, uh, so I'm basically able to find out the duplicates. Now, how to delete this employee ID, how to delete the data for this employee ID for this, I am going to use a function known as row number. Okay, let me just, okay, select star from employee. Let's write a row number query. 
from our row number over let's me partition by emp id or let's order by emp id only not a problem as rn so guys let me just run this query so when i run this query can you clearly see over here for employee id one there are two rows right it has ranked the two rows as one and two and for all the other ids it has ranked as one why because i have given a partition by clause over here so each employee id is basically a partition for employee id one is a partition two is a partition three is a partition for each employee id that is unique is basically a partition okay so in this fashion we can simply find out so we can simply find out different different types of uh, uh let's say employee id and their ranks now if i want to delete it let me just give a cts with cts name it okay so i've just given uh, created a kind of a temporary table or let's say i've just given a ct to this now what i am going to do is i'm just going to delete all the data <clears throat> which has the rank greater than 1 okay so all the data which has rank greater than 1 that is actually this data is going to be deleted and now i am going to have all the unique employee ids all the unique rows right so let me run this okay there's some syntax error as our influence city as this uh, 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 uh. right let me just show you let me just write a select star query select star from employee employee my bad rank greater than two not one right rank greater than one not two so when i do this part and when i run this let's see what happens can you clearly see now all my data is unique all my employee ids are unique so that's how I delete my duplicate data as well. Hope you like this question. And let me just tell you, uh, out of this, two, three questions are definitely going to come in the interview. So whenever you are just sitting for the interview, do practice all of these questions. And if you like the content, show some love on my channel and please subscribe to it. Thank you so much, guys.